welcome to my youtube channel uh, in this video we will see calculation of density and specific gravity of any given liquid or any given sample and we will calculate this density or specific gravity using this density bottle or it is also called specific gravity bottle so like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates firstly understand what is the meaning of specific gravity so specific gravity it is the ratio between density of an object and density of reference substance usually the test liquid which uh, is said to be an object and the reference substance it, it means usually we take an water and what is the conclusion that we get from a specific gravity based on that value uh, we will know that whether the object will flow or sink with our reference substance usually our reference substance is water which is always has a density almost it is equivalent to 1 and the formula for specific gravity is so we will see the formula for specific gravity uh, so specific gravity it means that it is density of object or I will say a density of a liquid so which is under test and density density of reference so reference or uh, usually I will say it is in water usually we see the reference that is in water we utilize for in reference purpose and density what is the meaning of a density density it is uh, you might be knowing that density it has a unit that is gram per ml gram per ml means it is gram divided by per ml each gram is divided by each ml and uh, this specific gravity it is a ratio it, uh, it does not have a unit so no unit for specific gravity specific gravity will not have unit because uh, as uh, density gram per ml gram per ml that will get cancelled and so there will be no unit now next uh, how to calculate and this uh, specific gravity by using density bottle and also we will know uh, understand how to calculate and density of any given liquid or uh, water so for that purpose i have taken a density bottle that is of 50 ml uh, so there is no need to measure a 50 ml separately just put the sample 50 ml in the bottle and once you fill it with the bottle before filling it you need to do some things like uh, weigh the empty bottle so i have written here density bottle and uh, these are some demo readings that i have shown so w1 uh, that is empty bottle weight it is 10.50 gram and after that weight of water plus density bottle firstly we will do the water uh, calculation density then we will move further for a liquid say suppose water uh, i have put now in 50 ml water in this once you put in 50 ml water the remaining water which is coming uh, out of when the stopper we inhaled in the neck so rough clean it by a tissue paper so there there should be no liquid it should be completely dried and take the weight of that bottle with the water so it is 10.67 these are some demo readings that i am showing you and after that weight of water now for calculation weight of water i need to w2 minus w1 so i will get w3 that is weight of water and the weight of water it is 50.17 gram exactly and after that weight of liquid we will come to the point that is density how to calculate the density weight of liquid plus density bottle that is w4 so i need to calculate just the weight of liquid for that purpose i will uh, minus the weight of bottle that is w1 so i will minus it from total weight uh, liquid plus bottle and i will get a weight of liquid suppose say it is 49.03 gram now for calculation of a density already i have told you the formula for a density so density it means that is gram per ml so gram per ml i will calculate the density of water so i will write here water uh, density so water density for that purpose see the mass of water that i have got it was 50.17 so 50.17 gram divided by ml and ml it is uh, so i have taken 50 ml bottle and so the uh, 
uh, I told you that there is no need to measure it separately. Just put a liquid fully and it will be a 50 ml. So 50 ml of water it is having and the value that I will get it is 1.003 gram per ml. So this is the density of water and now second point is that I need to calculate the density of liquid. So for calculation of a density of liquid, uh, so I will write here density of liquid. So which is under the test and density of liquid. So the mass of liquid that I got it is 59.03 uh, gram and divided by 50 ml the bottle it is often 50 ml and the value I get it is 0 0.9806 gram per ml. So these are the two densities of uh, water and liquid. Now I need to calculate to further. So the further calculations they are of uh, a specific gravity. So specific gravity formula it is specific gravity is equivalent to uh, density of liquid density of liquid divided by density of water density of water so reference I have taken here it is a water and liquid that is oil sample that I have taken and since suppose uh, the density of liquid I have calculated that is 0 0.9806 806 it is and 9806 and divided by 1.003 and the value I get uh, it is 0.9772 so this is the specific gravity of given liquid now what it indicate see the value it is less than density of water it means the liquid it will float or it will sink on a water when it is less than one, uh, it means that it will float. If it is more than one, it the, the meaning of this thing is that density of a liquid it is high compared to the reference value or reference water, reference whatever the uh, sample we are utilizing here it is water, and it will uh, not sink or float. It will get into a deep. But uh, when the value is uh, less than one, it will sink. So thank you for watching the video if you are having any doubts you can comment me in a comment box.